What's coming on guys? Talk up back again. Hope you are fantastic today and happy anniversary to Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, I hope you guys got some nostalgia. I've seen a bunch of lovely videos uh, talking about all the amazing memories that we've had with this franchise. Um, you know, I've been here since 2014 as well. Not one of the OGs like Mark, uh, but I got I played the game in August 2014. Really, really enjoyed it. Couldn't wait for FNAF 2 when the teasers started dropping. Uh, I watched Fusion's videos and Pro Class Gamers videos on the teasers. And then I decided to stream FNAF 2 on the release date, November 2014. And that's when my life completely changed. And this franchise means so much to me. You guys mean so much to me. Scott means so much to me. So yeah, happy anniversary. Six years is crazy. And we'll just have to wait and see what uh, next year brings, or the next year, or the next year. We don't know what the future holds, but damn, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go for the ride, guys, aren't we? So yeah, it's not all doom and gloom, guys. We have got something to talk about today. I was expecting a trailer. I'll admit, um, even if it wasn't a gameplay trailer or anything. Uh, just a, like a five second teaser trailer or anything uh, so I am a little bit disappointed that we didn't get anything at all and um, but I completely understand at the same time I know a lot of you guys are disappointed but you've got to try and see the two sides here okay I mean everybody's going through a rough time at the moment everybody is so they might be struggling uh, trying to keep afloat uh, trying to work on the game with the pandemic pandemic going on um, and they're probably really, really busy uh, w with the game right now and they didn't have time to make a trailer or anything just yet and they're still working on the game to its full potential before they show anything. Steelwall did actually comment on this. Uh, somebody did tweet to Steelwall saying that they're disappointed through messages and they said, sorry you feel disappointed. We will make announcements and show new stuff when the time is right. So... Yeah, so the time isn't right for Steel Wall yet, and it, I am surprised by that because it is August, and they said it's going to be released in 2020, and we've only got four months left of 2020, and we haven't seen any of the game yet, just, you know, art posters that were made last year, over a year ago, these teaser pictures were made, so... I am surprised that we haven't seen anything yet, but at the end of the day, um, you just got to respect Steel Wool and you got to respect Scott, and you just we just got to wait a little bit longer, okay? And hopefully, the wait is worth it, okay? Hopefully, the wait is worth it. Uh, the trailer looks amazing. If they release a trailer next month and it's absolutely amazing, I'm gonna forget about today anyway. Uh, and I'll be like, oh my god, this was worth the wait. This trailer's amazing. This game looks great. So yeah, we just gotta wait and see what happens. If the game's terrible, then yeah, maybe we can complain a little bit. But hold on, not just yet. Uh, but yeah, um, anything else I need to say? I wanted to talk a little bit about what I would have done if I was Steel Wall. Uh, of this isn't ranting or anything. It's just my opinion on what they should have done. If they're not ready to show the game or anything, they should have made uh, maybe like a, a teaser trailer or something. Hopefully they do that soon. And if they are watching, Steel Wall, if you don't want to show any gameplay yet, it would be really cool to hype up the fans just to show a teaser trailer. You've got the models of the animatronics, you've got the model of Vanny. We've seen all those now from the teasers that have been posted. We know what they look like. It would be amazing just to see like a 10 second teaser trailer. Something similar that you did with FNAF VR, the first FNAF VR trailer, the teaser trailer where you had Freddy in the office with the monitors um, showing the gameplay and stuff. I know you don't have it, you might not have any gameplay yet, but it was still really cool to see. Just have something where the glam rock animatronics are on stage in the mall. Got some music going on in the background. The stage lights light up, showing all the glam rock animatronics, the models, performing. Get Vanessa to walk down the stage and then look at the camera. And maybe she gets a knife out or something. So animatronics for performing. Vanessa comes along in a rabbit suit, walks along, stops, turns around and like looks at the camera with a knife out. Amazing. A lot of people would be hyped for that. Fade to black, done. That's all you need. You've showed the animatronic models, you've showed Vanessa, you've showed the background of the mall and stuff in 3D form. Job done, okay? And honestly, I don't think that would take that long to do, um, but 
you know, that's just my opinion on how I would have done it uh, if you're not ready for gameplay yet. But, you, you know, we don't know what they're doing, guys. Honestly, we don't, they don't, we don't know what they're doing. They could be working on a trailer still. They could be working on something. Uh, just the anniversary just wasn't the time to show it, okay? Like Steel will have said, the time's not right to show stuff yet. Um, which is completely understandable, and I completely respect that. No hate towards Steel, no hate towards Scott. Uh, I'm just, uh, it's more of a surprise that we haven't seen anything yet, and a little bit of disappointment. No anger or anything. I'm not angry, uh, because I know that something's going to come out soon. Um, okay, it's as simple as that. And I think the reason why people are so let down is because we haven't seen anything from the game and it's been a year since it was teased i mean that's the biggest reason why people are like what's going on is because we haven't seen anything in a year um so yeah i think that's why people are a little bit e e on edge at the moment but it's fine uh, don't worry about it guys uh, we'll get something soon and if we don't then it happens okay we just got to keep going and respect steel wall and hope that they're doing a great job on security breach so these are the two teasers that weren't released and again a little bit confused why scott decided not to post these because we had a few dead months earlier this year guys where we didn't get a single teaser from for, for months right it was monty monty and then it was dead for ages and then we got um the protagonist the security guard and then it was dead for another month and then we got vanessa I'm very surprised why you just didn't release um, Glamrock Chica and Glamrock... Uh, Glamrock... Roxanne! 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 That one. Um, <laughs> not... <the laughs> I'm, I'm surprised why you didn't uh, put uh, Glamrock Chica and Glamrock Roxanne between that period. I don't know. Maybe it was because of the leaks, but I don't see how leaks would stop you from posting them. It would actually make me post them. Um, to be like, yeah, the characters have been leaked, here you go. Uh, maybe he's just been really busy, I don't know. Maybe Steel will have been struggling or something and um, been, you know, with the pandemic going on, maybe they were like delaying the game a bit and Scott didn't want to tease anything and, you know, just to show that they're busy. I don't know. But here are the two teasers that we did get. Scott did release them. He said, hey, here are the unreleased teasers um, for Security Breach. I wish he did explain why he didn't release them. Um, but here they are, guys, and they look absolutely amazing. Uh, the reveals of Glamrock Chica. We'll do Glamrock Chica first, and then we'll move on to Roxanne. Glamrock Chica is finally here, guys, and the quote for Glamrock Chica is, of course, party, okay? It's not eat, it's party. You know, FNAF 2 Toy Chica had Let's Party. Uh, we don't really see a lot, uh, but we can see that it is Chica. Clearly see the beak, uh, the tuft of hair at the top as well. Uh, looks like she's got some earrings on as well. Yeah, like triangle earrings. I love the vibe of these teasers. Uh, all the kids with the glow sticks and stuff. It looks really energetic and cool. Uh, in the mall, in the big uh, stage, in the in the mall, in the centre of the whole thing. And it looks awesome. Chica's playing the guitar. Uh, there's nothing in the background, just some kids and stuff with glow sticks. Um, there's no hidden secrets or anything like that. But yeah, that is Glamrock Chica. There's nothing more I can say. It looks good. It looks great. Uh, next one, please. And that is Glamrock Roxanne. And I think Glamrock Roxanne Glam blah, 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 looks amazing, okay? The reason why I love this teaser so much is because she's jumping in the air. She looks amazing. And uh, Roxanne's quote is dance. So Glamrock uh, Roxanne seems to be the dancer of the group, jumping up. Uh, big, massive tuft of hair. Uh, but this is the same Roxanne as the one that was teased for Freddy in Space, if you remember. Uh, but yeah, she looks awesome. Really, really cool. It's not Foxy. It's, it's Roxanne. So it's a female, like, uh, wolf. Um, or I think it's a wolf, something like that. But yeah, she looks awesome. And she's jumping in the air. Um, so, Dan, an animatronic that can jump in the air, that's pretty crazy. I know that the previous animatronics have jumped before, like Foxy and FNAF 2, like jumping at us and stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, an animatronic jumping in the air, that's really high-tech and futuristic. But we already knew that um, 
this this game's taking place after Help Wanted. I'm pretty sure we'd get that by now. So it's going to be very futuristic. Uh, but the mall's going to be 80s, so it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really cool to see these animatronics around. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Honestly, that's it for today's anniversary. I'll be really annoyed if, uh, if Scott posts something after this video because I've been it's almost 3 a.m. for me. And I've been waiting like legitimate, legitimately till the last second where I think there's no, nothing's going to happen to make a video on the summary of today. <laughs> then Scott is going to post something after. But yeah, those were the two teasers, guys. Okay, I'm excited for security breach still. Like I said, I, I do admit I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't have to post something on the anniversary if they're not ready. There's no pressure or anything. There's no. We shouldn't pressure Scott and, and Steelwall to post something because it's the anniversary. And I completely respect them both, the whole team and Scott himself. So, yeah. Hope you're excited, guys. Um, I hope we get something soon. Like, like, like even just a teaser. Uh, we could even have a teaser picture of the models. We could have a model picture of the animatronics all on stage and stuff as the actual models in-game. That'd be awesome as well. Literally, uh, just anything right now would be great. I mean, even just a, something from Steel Wall themselves, like um, just saying how things are going. Or an update from Scott himself, just to see how he's doing and how all the projects are going with the movie and stuff. But uh, I'm completely fine with these two unreleased teasers. And hopefully we get something soon. Okay? Take care, guys. Happy anniversary. I will be playing FNAF 1 uh, in the week. We're doing FNAF 1 Revisited to celebrate the anniversary as well. That would be nice. And, yeah, uh, I'll be doing FNAF AR as well. Uh, a meme review mon uh, Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a good week as well. So, okay. I'll, I'll keep you entertained while we wait. Take care. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it will be worth the wait. You know, uh, we've been through these stages before. And then, bam, we get something really, really cool. An, an amazing game by Scott. Um... Or steel wool. So yeah, fingers crossed. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.